Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to put a quick video here with uh, us getting rid of all the station logins on the station computers. Uh, you're now going to be required to use your city email and password to log into your computers every day. Um, so there's going to be some issues with that. One of those being that uh, every time you go to a new station and you log in, it's going to take a while for the desktop to get set up. Um, some of the problems there that you're going to run into is that it's not going to be familiar to you. You're not going to have your fire department um, link to the server. You're not going to have Firehouse set up on your desktop if you're on a new computer. Um, you're not going to have your email set up uh, when you get on a new computer. So I just run, wanted to run through a couple things on how to set those up um, when you get to a new computer that uh, you haven't signed in on before. One of those things is going to be um, getting to the server, getting to the fire department server. So that's a pretty simple fix. Uh, everybody's used to having the little fire department link um, that's on uh, your desktop. To make that happen, all we need to do, um, if, you, if you've signed in for the first time, and I apologize, my computer that I'm showing you on is on uh, Windows 8. You guys all use Windows 10, but it's uh, pretty much the same layout, um, just looks a little different. To get to the server, if you want to make a link on the desktop, once you've signed in, it's going to take it a little time. If it's the first time, it's going to take it probably 20 minutes to set all your settings up and get get it uh, acclimated. So I would recommend that be the first thing you do. And you're, if you're at a station, you haven't logged in on the computer before, do it. Um, so it can run in the background while you're doing your other daily stuff. So if we come down here right to the file browser, if I just click on the file browser, it's going to pop up this window. Um, the easiest way for you to find the server instead of coming here and clicking on network and letting it load every server throughout the city and trying to distinguish which one is our server if you come up to the top bar here click on it it's gonna go blue simply put forward slash forward slash C O H F D R D S just like that as soon as you type C O H F D R D S N, just hit enter. It will take you to the fire department server. The next thing you should do is simply just see fire department right here. With the left click of your mouse, grab it and drag it over to your desktop. And it will make a copy right on your desktop. So now when I want to get to the server, I can double click on it, it'll take me right to the fire department server. That is the first thing you'll want to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete my link I've made. The second thing, if I hit the file browser, come up forward slash forward slash C O H F D R D S, I hit enter. You're going to see a little uh, server link here called Package Programs. When I double click on that, it has a remote desktop connection for Firehouse. It's the very top one. All it says is FH. Simply left click on it, hold it, and drag it over to your desktop. And it will make a remote desktop connection for your computer. Okay. Double click on it. It'll run. This is, uh, since I'm hardwired, it runs a little differently, but for you guys, it should fire right up. Okay. Just hit connect, and it's going to ask you for my username and password, just like any other firehouse uh, would. Okay. The last thing that you're going to need to know how to set up is your email. Once you've signed in as you, um, the computer knows that you are signed in as it, so it needs to know to look for you on your Outlook. Um, I know some of you use the web-based Outlook program, which is fine, um, but if you would like an Outlook uh, to your desktop, which is what I would suggest, simply on the bottom left here on the start menu, your guys' will look like four little windows in a different little uh, pattern. Simply click on it, and without clicking on anything, just type in O-U-T-L-O-O-K, and it should populate Microsoft Outlook. When I click on it, obviously mine's already signed in, um, I've already set up my Outlook, so it's going to go ahead and log me in. What it's going to do for you guys on your first login is it's going to go out and say, okay, I know, let's say Jesse Martin is signed in on this computer, and it's going to find your email address. And it's going to ask you, is this you and this is the email address you want to use? You will hit yes or continue, 
it will find your email address and it will set up your Outlook for you. Okay, it's not going to ask you for a password or anything. It's just going to um, show up for you. As soon as you do that, you will have the ability. I can make. If I type in Outlook again, the bottom. If I can spell correctly. I can simply take this Outlook and drag it to my desktop and I can have a link for Outlook that I've already signed into. So those are the three things that you're really going to need to know how to do when you set up your desktop for the first time. You need to know how to get to the server, you need to know how to set up your email, and how to set up your Firehouse link. If you have any questions, call me and let me know. Thank you.